Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be testing if my Champion 10520 can power my 4 ton AC unit on propane. To recap, I converted my Champion 10520 uh, to work off of propane using this motor snorkel kit. Then, um, with my AC unit, I added a soft start kit, which you can see down there. That's the microwave easy start. Lastly, I installed a generator inlet port and a mechanically interlocked breaker kit so I don't back the power. So just to note, I haven't run my AC on for several days, so uh, this should be as cold of a cold start as anything. Uh, let's get everything turned on and see if it works. Choke in. Push the primer. Alright, it's showing power coming into the inlet port. We're going to transfer power right now from the main power to the generator. Okay, so the generator just kicked on. I'll give it a few minutes to warm up and then we'll try turning on the AC. Alright, so the generator has been running for a few minutes. I am going to go turn on the AC right now. So I already ran this test using gas and it works with gas. Let's see if it works with propane. Put to 70. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, this uh, setup, I've uh, shot several videos on this already. Um, I had one where I ran on gas. I had one where I did the conversion. Um, all those videos I'll link in the description below. So let's just give this a minute or two to kick on. Okay, it's kicking on. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see if it's working. The generator is really trying hard. I think it failed to start. Yeah, that didn't happen. So I didn't have enough power to turn things on using propane. I'm going to switch to gas, try to get it running, and then try again. Alright, so I just switched to gasoline. Um, let me try turning it on right now, on the, under gas. This worked before, it should work again. Oh. Takes a little to kick on, so... Might be here for a minute or two. Okay, taking on. DJ Jonathan here. I have to make a correction. Um, so when I ran this thing, I thought that the AC unit was starting, but in fact, uh, only the fan was starting, as you can see there. 
Um, usually this thing runs between 3,000 and 4,000 watts, and right now it's only 1,500 or so. Um, so what ended up happening is that the easy start was starting the fan, but the condenser wasn't kicking on. So I'll show you that shortly when I log into the microwave easy start, and you'll see um, just what's going on there. Back to past me. All right, so this test isn't going well at all. Um, I switched over to gas and I tried turning it on and uh, it's not giving enough power for the easy start. Here's a status on the easy start and it says that it's a power interruption fail fault. So in other words, there's not enough power for this thing to start up. So, Apparently, um, cold start w without turning it on for several days uh, just won't work on this generator, which is surprising. Um, I wonder if the last time I tried it, I had the AC on, I guess the, the day before or something like that, and it wasn't several days, so it was uh, a little bit easier to start. Right now it's uh, totally locked up and it won't start. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to main power and um, start up first and then switch back to propane. Uh, it's not the test I wanted, but I guess, oh, let's try again. Did it make it? Nope, overcurrent fault. Yeah, it's not the test I wanted, but um, it's going to have to do. Uh, I guess, I mean, the results are still useful to note that uh, um, the generator is having problems running when um, it's, when the AC hasn't been run for a really long time. So let me go switch over to main power, um, to utility power, turn on the AC for a little bit, let it run, and then try switching back to propane and seeing if that works. All right, so we're back in utility power. Um, I just connected to the easy start, and we can see that uh, the last start peak was 52.2 amps, which is a lot of power. If we do some math on that, uh, we multiply 52 amps by 240, we're looking at uh, 12,480 uh, watts, which is a lot more than the generator can handle. Um, so I'm gonna go now switch this back to propane and see if it will start after um, one time uh, off the main. Uh, yeah, let's see if that still even works. Um, I know, uh, well, we, we discovered that yeah, the generator can't start um, if the AC has been off for a really long time, but maybe it could still start if we have, um, if we've just turned it off. So I'm gonna give that a try. Alrighty, so we just got everything hooked back up with propane and if we look at the peak start amps, it's only 35.9 and it seems to be holding on uh, propane. Let me go take a look at the energy usage. So if we look at the energy usage, uh, we see that we're taking 3,200 watts hey guys uh, so there you have it uh, we ran the experiment and we discovered that unfortunately the uh, champion 100 520 does not uh, work uh, to start a uh, four ton ac uh, on propane uh, that's discovery number one discovery number two if the ac hasn't been running for uh, long enough even on gasoline it won't start so I guess the last time I ran this test, um, it was uh, a short enough period or the weather conditions were just right that it was still able to start. But this time, um, with whatever weather the conditions I have and with the uh, AC not running for uh, several days, the, um, the locked rotor amps uh, was just too high at like 50 point something. We're seeing it work a lot better now 
uh, once we start the second time, so I guess that works. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, I am going to have to be thinking a lot whether I want to be re resizing my generator setup. Uh, in an emergency situation, I'm either going to either always have to have my AC running every few hours or I'm going to have to expect that I'm not going to have an AC. So I'm going to be um, watching out for that. Um, as a goal, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers this year. Um, that's uh, one of my New Year's goals. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I wasn't really planning on turning this into a channel, but uh, with everyone interested in, in my videos, I've decided, hey, why not? Uh, so thank you for watching my video, and I hope you enjoy. Um, catch me next time when I work on other projects. Thanks. Bye.